Good morning, folks. It's Let's see what Mr. Tablet says. Wednesday, excuse me, eight ten a.m. Wednesday, February first, twenty seventeen. Oh, uh, calendar. Um, there's a couple of things that are important I want to talk to you about. Uh, the drunk attacking some Federation planets because of what they what they were were doing. Uh, the attacks over. Um, they're doing cleanup on the fourth planet right now, but. Uh, and they explain to you who the Federation were and everything else. Also, uh, the uh, this issue with Corey, uh, Corey Good, um, what he just went through. I'm going to explain that in a minute. Uh, he wasn't attacked. He was given an opportunity to stop, excuse me, and rethink... Uh, what he's doing in his life right now. Um, when you have a government that's uh, doing so many bad things, uh, when there's so many different branches that have their own uh, department, what most people call black ops, you know, it's all things against uh, other people's rights, their personal rights. All creation's equal. And it, the new law about to come out is that uh, others will understand that. Um, that'll be filtering out here to the third dimension, but I'm, I'm speaking about the second dimension, the, the dimension that runs everything. It's right above us. Um, I'm going to be as quiet as possible. Uh, I've had Deanna staying here with me for a while since I got out of the hospital. Uh, excuse me, she's... Uh, excuse me, sinus is all messed up. Uh, she's been a lifesaver. Um, um, but... Uh, The time that you're living in right now is of such importance, not just to you, not just to your family, not just to this planet, but creation itself. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to get into the, um, the other, the main topics here in just a second. Um. Creation has always been run by the other side. People praising God and everything, you know, which is, if you think, I mean, I did that when I was a little kid. I was told to, didn't know better, and I started figuring stuff out real quick, and I started to learn how to trust my feelings. We can have a hard time trusting other people, but isn't the hardest thing for us, usually, is uh, to trust ourselves. Um... These bodies that we're in, these are literally uh, vehicles that we drive around and have a life. Uh, they're almost the perfect, uh, there's no such thing as perfect, so I'm using this very loosely. But they're almost a perfect type of uh, jail. It's like a car that you go into, a body is like a car, a vehicle you go into, like a car. They weld the door shut, and you can't get out until the car dies. Yeah, the the two parts of the Kundalini. The second part is the actual um, spirit from the essence from the planet that was broken off from Gaia a little over 11 million years ago. Um, there's a lot of new people coming here, and how do I know this stuff? What's this baloney I'm talking about? You know, I I have no low self-esteem, no self-issue, uh, no self-esteem issues. I know what I am. Um, if anything, 
I need to be sure that uh, I remind people uh, that I don't, that I realize that I'm no better than anything else. Nothing is. Nothing's any better than me. If if you're going to have a creation that can actually move forward in a clear, positive manner where it grows properly, um, you have to have, just because something exists, it has to be equal to, everyone, to everything else. And then when it becomes abusive and aggressive towards others, then it's dealt with. Um... How do I know this? Well, I'm very, very much awake. My, uh, who I am inside, my spirit. Um, uh, I'm part of this thing called Era. I do go back to the very beginning of lives. Um, I remember the birth of creation. Um, that's why in these books, <laughs> She's got a laptop up here. Deanna's so precious. All my family members are. They're, they're so incredible. Such wonderful, beautiful people. As folks, as folks wake up, start waking up. They, you start learning more, seeing more, feeling more, understanding more about what's really going on around you. Um, a little bit than three percent of the population, of the humanoid population on this planet is aware of who they really are. There's over six billion people on this planet. Uh, actual people that can see the other side and know what's going on, less than 20. Less than 20. The strongest ones that are ready to go, you're going to find on the spiritualfoundation.com on the consults page. Gee, this sounds like an advertisement. No, it's not. I get plenty of contacts, uh, you know, YouTube and the rest of them. It's like, start putting commercials on your uh, videos. So, you know, we'll even pay you. So, no. I talk about Chihuahua tea. There's a box back here somewhere. It, it's hidden down there, Chihuahua tea. That's great stuff. I tell you about it. I get some coffee like I like. It, I might tell you about it. Uh, vitamins that are good for you. Um, I tell you about them. Different vitamins for the brains, uh, for the for your brains. Hopefully, you only have one. <laughs> Excuse the slurping. I do that. Hot coffee. Um, uh, Speaking about two brains, it's almost like sometimes you have two brains because you have two spirits within you. The planetary essence, that guy broke off a whole bunch of uh, that one time, uh, uh, like I said, just over 11 million years ago, it's in your head and it's sentient energy, it's spirit. It's of one person that's in your body. You are the larger part in your body. When people go to die, how come people hold on to the body so hard? You know, well, the main part of you is tired, wants to get out of there, but that body, the planetary uh, essence that's inside you, the only thing it has, it's ever had towards being the planet is that mo momentary uh, uh, physical body. The bodies have all the same materials that this planet has. That's where they originally came from, okay? So when it goes in the body, that's the closest thing it'll ever have for a planet, and it only it knows it only has so much time, so it holds on, and, you know, so desperately and that's why a lot of people just don't want to die where the, where the spirit's ready to go and the body says hell and once it's been beat up enough and it's you know being hit too hard and going through too much crap then the um, planetary essence inside you the second part of your kundalini those two snakes the um, uh, the old Indian folks used to talk about uh, going up uh, your body I mean from India um, Forgot the name, but it begins with an S. Anyway, <clears throat> um, they finally let go when the body's been through enough crap. So, uh, and each part of the spirit of the planet that's in there, that's an individual. They're all different. Anyway, so where'd you come from? What's going on? This is the only book that exists at the moment. The other 
some of my other family members, what we are inside is source. It's clean source, spirit from Lily Hour. This book is the first book, and right now the only book, that will actually tell you who you are, what you are, where you originated, where you actually came from. Um, the, people think things, they throw th no, this is just what is, period, okay? Not trying to beat up on anyone else, I had to write these books before this body died, for a reason. This is my last life. I've had more lives than anything else, 10.846 trillion, okay? Um, anyway, uh, small book, you can get it on uh, uh, thespiritualfoundation.com, you can get it at eCreateSpace, you can get it on Amazon.com, you, you can get it on Kindle, cheap. Anyway, um, this is where it all came from, this thing called God. What is it? Where did it come from? Is it still alive? And so that is no. People talk about praising something. If something was, if something was worth your praise, would it want it, number one? And number two, would it allow it? You, you have, those of you, hopefully there's a lot, but I, I know there's a good number of people, most people have parents that do care about them and love them, even though there's problems. Life is made to have problems. Uh, the original first being male and female, while they were alive, they made that happen. The more abuse they put into you while you were growing, while you're going through that life, the more abuse they put into you, that when you came out of the body, you grow more. When you come out of a body, your spirit comes out and poof, it grows a little bit. But when you come out of a body and you've been abused in that life really hard, you come out and you go poof. The, your, your spirit actually grows in size. The problem is it builds abusive frequencies in there. They're not some of your frequencies that go cancerous or something. They're literal abuse frequencies that are added to you and it really disrupts the flow of your calm, your natural growth. It screws you up. Okay, that's what was going on and that's why the original first being male and female who would, who once they knew that, refused to change. They liked it. They wanted everybody to get bigger so that uh, December 21st, 2012, they're going to take the larger spirit mates, put them together, put them into a, a universe by themselves and have them release a third of their energy. Well, if they're a lot bigger, when they release a third of their energy, they're going to let loose, uh, um, instead of releasing a hundred million, they might release a billion new people. And all these new people had to say, praise Mother Father God, praise Mother Father God. And it's like the stuff Sylvia Brown used to talk about, and I'm not beating her up. Uh, this life was rough on her. Uh, she's still relaxing, kind of healing up. Um, she loves information. She's really cool, but this life, you know, she was there to talk about Mother, Father, God. Anyway, uh, this is a second book. Okay, creation. Uh, the first one is creation. This beginning of your origin. This is creation. This journey evolving uh, into paradise. Uh, uh, true paradise? No. Paradise compared to what you've been through? Yes. Um, you live your life uh, working in the mines, and then you come out, and then you see the sunlight, and you're free. To you, that's paradise. <coughs> Okay, why am I saying all this? This is relative to what's going on with Corey Good. Um, there's a new format coming to creation. It's almost here. It's already been worked on. All the big problems, including the original uh, first being male and female, it was one being and it split itself into male and into two different parts, slightly different, so it would have company. And that was the, the incidental birth of male and female excuse me, or creation of whatever. So, um, oh, by the way, for those of you that are trying to wake up, I used to make runes. Uh, this book is about uh, Jarrah's Runes of Awakening. My name is Jay Essex. The legal name is John David Essex. Uh, uh, a lot of folks call me Jarrah. Uh, whatever. Um, uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, what I am inside Zara, so it's J Essex. I just put in between the two of them, Mara. I, you know, I'm trying to. What's a name? A name is something that's like a way for people to have a, a, like a focal point of thought process to know they're talking about the same thing. Whether I'm called shitbot or bits you, it doesn't matter. But the name is a name. It's just trying to describe it and link it to other stuff. Um, these are some of the runes that are inside. Diana Anaya, Diana Ramirez Anaya, 
put these together. She's awesome. She's also the one that runs the spiritualfoundation.com. Here's some more. This is the Elder Fruth Arc plus other runes. The card deck. Um, um, the other runes you won't find anywhere, okay? They come from other planets and everything else, and I, they literally just came out of my head. Um, here's an old one. Okay, my eyes. Here's one of the new ones. Okay? That's just Sui straight up. That's hard energy. Okay? It's relative to... That's where that... It's like a person. And that's the, the dot up there wherever I pointed. Um, uh, that's relative to the heart chakra. It talks about... Um, it helps you use the different... Uh, <coughs> it helps you go ahead and... It's, it's an exercise to go ahead and turn on your different uh, focal points within your body, you know, your energy focal points within your body. Uh, you can use it to talk with your spirit guides, animal spirit guides everywhere. Um, I'm going to do a video pulling a few of these cards later. Uh, now there is a video that's out, uh, Jared's Rooms of Awakening DVD, um, that you can only get at uh, the, the spiritualfoundation.com, and we're trying to get all this done. Deanna and I do everything for it, so it's kind of rough. Um, but it, it explains the cards. I start in the in the DVD. I pull every card. I pull them all out. Explain them. So uh, that's uh, that's to help you learn how to talk with your spirit guide. Um, folks can use these together. Um, you can do it alone or with other people. Make a game of it. Um, you can go through the deck and take out the uh, cards that are relative to uh, different areas. Um, there's the upper crown, okay? <clears throat> There's the upper crown where it says it's open, close it, um, power it up, shut it down hard. Um, there's a scanner. People, what's a scanner? Yeah. Gee, uh, no one's ever talked about the scanner. I, I go into people's brains and I crank you up. Um, I make you really strong. I have family members, that those uh, 20 that I was telling you about waking up, they can do that. Um, the majority of them were found on thespiritualfoundation.com. But that's not where all of them are. But that's where the most of them are. Um, so, and right, like I'm saying, there's, there's 20 people on the planet that can do it right now. There's less than 20 that are uh, ready to go. Anyway, uh, it's important they understand everything. To crank them up, make them stronger, helps them out. But at the same time, it's different than actually understanding everything going on. They have to take the time to look and see and feel. Um, and everyone listed there uh, can do exactly that. Anyway, uh, uh, Stephen Levendusky, uh, he's one of the strongest telepaths on the planet. And uh, uh, he's been going through hell for a long time. So uh, that's going to be fixed. It'll be fine. Um, a lot of my family's been tortured by the original first being male and female. That's been being mostly been, but being taken care of. And now everyone's growing a bit. I put out a video talking about what's this Drock attack in the Federation and everything. Uh, January 29th, was it? Uh, January 29th, uh, early in the morning here, Eastern Standard Time uh, in the U.S., Eastern Coast, uh, there was a meeting. Um, I was there, actually part of it, um, and decisions were made. Uh, and then uh, on uh, the 31st of January, um, the attack began. Um, I did a video about it a few hours after it happened, but uh, um, I was getting my head work done by the next layer layer of energy outside of my body so hard um, I couldn't hardly get it out, get the information out properly. So I always do everything I can to do as much as I can for you as soon as I can. Uh, the sooner the better, except, except, especially, blah, and I'm, I'm still getting hammered, uh, especially uh, 
when it's time sensitive. What uh, the information I have for you and your children and their children and this, this stuff's going to be around forever. Um, the history that will never change is the history that just exists. That's actually the truth. Whether a lot of people hate truth. How do you know the truth? And, well, you know, sometimes I say I'm the old fart because I've had more lives than anyone else. I think I usually, sometimes I screw up when I talk with people about the amount of lives you've had. I talk about years because it's like years in your growth as you get bigger because I've been watching you. This is my last and good, it needs to be. I got stuff to do that uh, and it requires my complete attention out of body. This isn't the real you. This is uh, uh, what it's who you are as a body, the person. It's real, very real, you know that. They were in the matrix, no, wrong. You're in the physical body. <coughs> um, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, there we go. Had another one waiting to come out. Um, ah, lung disease, the gift that keeps on giving. Anyway, uh, so I, for all the new people coming in that care about this, I wanted to get that out there. Uh, this uh, book number two, Creation, uh, its journey evolving into paradise, is all the new beings that have been created, everything that's uh, been happening, how creation became what it is, what's going on now, the history of the earth, its colonization, uh, Atlantis, Lemuria. What happened? Who was there? What's this about the Adamic race? The ones Edgar Casey talks about in Atlantis? Um, Edgar Casey, how can you not love the man? He did so much for nothing to help people. Um, uh, he uh, he talked about the two major groups in Atlantis, and he was you know the right there were. Right? He talked about he said one of them was called the Law of One. Those are the ones that agreed to praise God, the One Supreme Being. And um, the others, he said, he called the children of Belial. Let me just leave this here, that when Edgar Casey prepared himself um, to go into his, um, to relax and open up and let uh, his primary spirit guide, that was human essence, uh, to talk through him, it was hard for him to loosen up and let that out. So he had to relax himself a certain way, um, get into a mental condition that made him slow words. And uh, he was trying to say the children of denial, not Belial, okay? Um, again, Edgar Casey was awesome, love him. And this, this life, he's in a female body that was living around Chicago for a long time. David Wilcock is not uh, Edgar Casey, but David Wilcock's DNA is definitely tied in with Edgar Casey's body. You can take the two of them and look at them, and they're very alike, very much alike. Um, so, anyway, um, something else I was going to say too, um, I do slide on and off track on things. There's so much going on through my head, and like I said, my head's being worked on right now. It's actually changing a little bit while we're talking. I'm tired of it, so my spirit outside of the body... Uh, is doing it, just every, doing everything he can to help me, but I, you know, at the last few months, but I wish it just stopped. But, it, you know, when someone's doing something to help you and, and you can put up with it, you know, when we have heart, we usually just deal with it. The most important thing is for me to finish this and go home so I can f then finally finish and maintain what needs to happen, what what is going to happen. You know, it needs to, but. Over 90% of it's already happened. Anyway, um, one thing I was starting to mention, I forgot to finish, I believe. Uh, when I was talking about praise, if something is worthy of praise, why would it want it and why would it allow it? Okay? Um, When you go, most of you have parents that love you. So I was saying, when you go home, do they make you bow 
and praise them before you go in the house, before you eat? Did he make you say thanks to them for supplying them a meal? I hope not. Not many do. Um, think about it. All your religions are full of bunk, and I can tell you for a fact they are. And Okay, let's get back to the... Um, to the main um, information here, the uh, there was a meeting uh, January 29th in the early morning, Eastern Standard Time, uh, a little after one o'clock a.m. 2017, where uh, the uh, Drock, Antids, and some others. Uh, Source Spirit, Ara, uh, talked about this war. It was, it was just Ara. That was the only Source Spirit there. Talked about um, an upcoming war uh, that was going to start us a few battles. Uh, actually talked about the situation and how to handle it a bit. It was already obvious this was going to come uh, to be. Um, I've talked about the Federation before, and they're not the fluffy, puffy, wonderful people that so many quote-unquote psychics and mediums and all this other stuff and extra larges, whatever, um, uh, we're talking about. They didn't know. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm not trying to beat them up. I'm just, they don't know. They can't see. They just, and sometimes they're told stuff that's wrong on the other side. And that's not their fault. If you don't see something, you're trying to help people. You have the love in your heart. You're just trying to help. You, you have to have good information. That's why I wrote the books. That's why I leave all these videos. Later on, uh, when this is over, uh, when, when I'm out of here, then time, a certain amount of time has gone by, probably about a year, maybe more. Um, Deanna and Siobhan are going to write a book. That'll be the third book of the creation series. So um, they'll be putting that stuff in. Uh, Berju, uh, she's doing incredible stuff. Um, uh, she's from uh, uh, Turkey originally. She lives here. Um, uh, she she can crank people up. She's on the consult page. Berju Gosler, Berju, sorry, honey, I'm, you know how I screw up your name all the time, but I can't help it. I'm I fight with Jay. That's how bad it is, and she knows that. Um, uh, and she's translating the books into uh, I'm Turkish. I, I don't know the name of the language, exact name of it, but. Uh, uh, and then she'll be writing her own books which is good. They all, everyone needs to express things as they know them. That's the whole point of how I crank, when I, about me cranking you up, about them cranking you up to try and make you stronger. But over time, it's, it's also going to happen with everyone, just not to this extent. That'll never happen unless you get cranked up, period. So um, <laughs> those of you that uh, want help, you're going to get help. But those of you that want to free, um, to get, you know, cranked up free just like it's going to happen to everybody it's not it's not supposed to um i'm sure it wouldn't be fair to everyone that's spent the money on it i mean come on anyway um but when you get cranked up it literally the size of your head grows this i was talking uh, <coughs> excuse me i was talking with a gentleman just the other day and we were laughing about, uh, he was laughing about, uh, actually, uh, um, I'll just go ahead and tell you, this one of Deanna's uh, brothers, a uh, really cool guy, Nacho, and uh, he's a singer, he's coming along really well, and, uh, but I told him his head's going to get bigger, and then he told Deanna, he goes, uh, you know, uh, I put my hat on my baseball cap, and it was, it wouldn't fit anymore, it ended up getting tight, but it just won't fit, I had to loosen the thing up. And then he said it was weird. I didn't know what the hell was going on because, you know, the hat doesn't get washed and everything. It should be loosening up and getting bigger, if anything. And then I remembered that when Jay cranked me up, he warned me that the brain and the skull do grow. <laughs> so, now, the older we are, the, uh, the, the less proper nutrition we have and those people that do drugs, and you know, uh, they're not going to have the same growth. Okay. When you get to a certain age, like for uh, older folks, uh, I'm 61. Folks that are about 80, 
70. The older we are, our body's already out of a growth stage. So we can't expect all of a sudden, you know, for this to happen. Um, and when people have been cranked up and they start turning arrogant, growth stops. Their abilities, um, the enhancement of the, of the source spirit put in them will be sitting there like a car at a, uh, in the garage that's, or outside in the driveway that's running uh, and it's just sitting there, it's in park. Um, whatever you can do, you can do. But uh, enhancement through the source spirit, no, it'll stop. No one's gonna get cranked up with this spirit and then use it um, to uh, glorify themselves. It's not gonna happen. Now, this source spirit, is that, I mean, the source energy, is that energy or is it sentient energy, which we call spirit? Is it another mind? <coughs> A being with another mind that's put in you? No. Not at all. Excuse me just a minute. All right, had something to do. Uh, anyway, uh, um, it's energy that comes off the spirit. But the field that goes everywhere, the source field that's everywhere, that's hanging around everyone, goes through everyone. As your arrogance grows up, that source spirit literally goes into a source of energy in your body and just put you know just calms it down lets it go to sleep doesn't allow it to do anything it's like turns off your switch for the source energy for the source input source energy input so anyway um, that evolves your brain and everything else that's why that happens you don't grow a huge head and everything, but it does grow. Give it about three, four months. I tell people to take a string, put it around their head, tie it real tight, not tight on your head, but I mean, you know, tie it kind of loose and pull it off, make it real tight, and then put it up and down your head so it'll slide, but you're not supposed to go like this, okay? Just put it on your head so it slides. It should not go over your ears. Uh, it, it, but it should softly go down your head, no problem, and then put it away somewhere. Put it in a baggie where it can't get wet, you know, put it somewhere where it's cool. Um, and make sure that knot's tight, real tight. Make sure you get it super tight, and then recheck it. And then take it, put, put it somewhere, store it somewhere where it won't get wet, hot. Just let it be there, and then go back three and a half, four months later. And chances are really good that it ain't going to go down, you know, like that whatsoever. It's different with different people. Um, anyway, that helps you see what's real and going on through the other side. People talk about the veil is thinning. No, it's not. People are being woken up so they can use their abilities more to see through the veil. What they call the veil. The veil is literally a dimensional barrier, okay? They don't get weak. I know about that big time. Now, let's finally get to the, again, trying to get to the what's going on. This, uh, we're going to get to the straw thing. That's going to take a minute. But first, I want to get to Corey. Um, Corey, I love you, man. You're awesome. Um, before too long, you'll listen to this video. Maybe I like my coffee too much, huh? Uh, It is the other side that runs things. Corey, there's been some billionaire energy around you. Um, you're kind of being used to support what David Wilcock is doing. And you were being protected, taken care of. You still are. Um, while this was happening, but part of Lily went inside your chest, into your heart, into your intercostal muscles and your rib cage and just slowed you down a little bit and that's not an attack it's not a warning it's an opportunity um if someone has if someone's really not taking care of the body and then they have a heart attack then when they when they're done with it they say or they have a little heart flutter like a heart attack they say damn um i need to look at what i'm doing and wake up um Corey, that's all that was, man. Uh, you have a very specific, important uh, destiny, and it has nothing to do with David Wilcock. OK? 
okay? Uh, there's a possibility you do this uh, uh, on Gaia, Teo Gaia, Gaia MTV or what, I, I don't know, but uh, you're supposed to be doing this on your own. And now I, I realize that you have financial responsibilities and everything else like all of us do, and I, I, I understand that. I'm not going anywhere with that either. I'm just saying I realize uh, the issues of a reptilian society that works off of money. Uh, you'll be taken care of just fine. <laughs> a lot better than you are now, okay? You have important work to do, and you're not doing it. You're not going out on your own to, thank you, um, to do what uh, needs to be done, okay? Um, it's important to you, it's important to your family, it's important to everyone. Um, a while back I went into you, and I put a lot of strong energy into you, uh, put source in you, which is changing you, making you stronger, okay? Source of energy, not spirit. Uh, that was to help you, okay? Um, if you continue to stay with uh, um, David, Wil David Wilcock, David, I love you, man, but you are so stuck on self-glorification. Um, you know, I, I, can't, I can't listen to you. Um, I can't deal with it. You draw these crazy conclusions about stuff, just trying to make something up to get people to smile when they're looking at you, and everybody, yay. Um, David, you're better than that. Um, but, Corey, if, if you don't get away from him and do something yourself, you're not going to get hurt. You're not going to have a heart attack and die. Um, and you're not going to be attacked by the government because they had literally, uh, the Anunnaki that run this planet through their little filters, they, they, you have a hands-off policy just like especially David Wilcock because he's spreading so much disinformation and doing such a good job. He's like, man, we couldn't pay this guy enough money to do what he's doing. The last thing they want is for anyone to know what's really going on. Corey, you have such incredible, the most powerful part of you, Corey, is your heart. Then your pineal, very strong. Um, your solar plexus is funny, but it's um, it, in comparison, uh, percentages, it's, not, it's nothing compared to uh, your pineal and then even more so your heart. Uh, Corey, you have an ability to see things and everything for yourself, okay, that you're not using to see and feel. Uh, I'm not grabbing your coattails. I'll be out of here soon. I've been waiting to get out of here for a long time, but finally the last big thing I had to do was done. Um, But uh, you have a hell of a future ahead of you that you're moving away from. And this is an attempt of uh, what was happened to you. And my talking to you, this is an attempt to help you get back on track to where you need to be, not just for yourself and family, but for everyone. Um, but you need to use your pineal to see things for yourself. You need to use your heart to feel forward stronger. Um, the gentleman you talked to that has introduced himself as a blue avian, uh, uh, Al Ra Tair, what? That's Tair, okay? He's a buddy of mine. Um, he's family, he's source. Uh, he's source spirit from Lily and Ara. They release their own energy. It's all in the second book, um, the second creation book. A creation, its journey evolving into paradise. He has two sons, too. Um, Ra'og and Na'og, they're both from different mothers. Na'og is the youngest, uh, Ra'og is older, and they're very involved with stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to say any more about that. That's his personal family. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, January uh, 29th, you know, Tier was there, and I talked with him all the time. Um, He knew that it wasn't time to actually crank you up. 
um, thank you. And uh, so uh, I didn't. I honored that. And I just put some energy in you. And then I looked after he said that. Then I looked at it and I saw what was going on. I said, okay, it's not time, but we'll put out something for Corey later. Um, it, Corey, it's time for you to come out on your own, man. You're an awesome, incredible person. You really are. But David talks bullshit and you're not. Okay? Um, anyway. Uh, it's, it's, it's not that I don't want to talk with you, or you can't. You can call me and I'll talk with you, but I don't see this happening. Um, you get involved in this until after I'm gone, and all you got to do is talk to Deanna, uh, Berju, uh, Siobhan, at the Spiritual Foundation. They'll tell tell you more about this stuff. Um, uh, honestly, someone you talk to, uh, when you can, to ear. Talk to him. Talk to him, ask him about me. He'll tell you. He'll tell you stuff about me that I don't want, I don't really want to get out. And I mean, I don't care, but it seems self-serving. So, uh, but the, it's not for me, it's for you to understand something, okay? Uh, please just let David go his own way. And uh, there's a lot of people waiting for your help. There's a lot of wonderful things you can do. Your destiny's huge if you'll just get off that bumpy road and get on that nice smooth highway that's already been made for you. Uh, and as far as monetary assessment, um, that's a road to be on. We live in a, thank you, okay, don't need all that. Um, I just look it up, the light is happening right here. It's just it's Lily's energy messing with the light. But, you know, yeah, that when I talk to animals outside, say something, talk back and forth, they go back and forth. That happens from time to time. And that helps people understand that, you know, maybe this tired old man in overalls is actually telling the truth. Um, we live in a physical world. We need some physical proof, don't we? So anyway, um, Corey, love you. Please keep going um, uh, for, for you, your family, and everyone else. Please get on your own. Um, and the folks at the spiritualfoundation.com will be happy to help you out. Um, and I love you. Uh, okay, now let's get to this drop thing. Um, and by the way, Corey, uh, if you talk with the ear, um, he's not going to tell you everything about what's going on with the drug, with this war, with me, how it all relates, but uh, he'll tell you enough. You know how to hear as he talks soft message and you have to really think when he says something. He does that on purpose. He's trying to teach you to use your heart and your pineal to go into it, okay? And you do, but as long as you keep, you know, when you talk about something that's on a scanner that you're reading, that's like someone reporting about what's on TV and calling it the truth. You can't do that. It's because it's not. You have very strong abilities, and they're now a lot stronger, but they won't turn on and, until you just, you know, get on the road that's Corey's road, okay? Anyway, um, so this, uh, let's get to the Federation. Let me say this about the drug first. The Drak are incredibly powerful. They're the original race, the first. Uh, their history, their origin, goes back to the second pair of lives that it has ever happened. Their DNA was literally made by Ara and Lily in the very beginning. Uh, Lily and Ara went to have their first life, their source, and very power, the strongest, small parts of source energy, but for their size, whatever, doesn't matter. They were smaller, but the intensity of their energy was the strongest it was. 
uh, without lower frequencies in it. And uh, the first life they had, they had bodies relative to what they were. Uh, plant, animal, human, fae, uh, planetary, uh, which is uh, female universal essence, and then star, male universal essence. All that was, you know, in, you know, in one body. It, it's, they, it was kind of weird looking. It was very nice, very beautiful. I remember the love we had for each other. and still do. Stronger now than it's ever been. Um, and uh, then we had one beautiful night together relaxing. And then in the morning got up, started eating some fruit out of the trees. And here comes this herd of, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, over a hundred of these velociraptor looking kind of things, crazy looking. And they literally tore us to pieces and ripped us up. And we made our own bodies. We just made bodies out of what we were. That seemed to be the sensible thing to do. And we got ripped up, shredded. I was, we made eye, eye contact right when our bodies were being totally dismembered, brain set, head separated. So I got out of the, when we got out of the body, I went right up to um, original first being male and female and hit him with a burst of energy. It's like going up to someone and slapping the crap out of their face with the back of your, back of your hand. And uh, then when we went back to have another life, I told Lily, I said, honey, you just follow my lead when we go down there and make bodies. Uh, the first time Aaron and Lily got together, their energy is so strong and it's so clean. Okay, um, less than 2% negativity is how, basically how it started. 2.08, uh, it used to be 2.081. <coughs> Excuse me. Negativity was...